Have you ever paused to wonder what your body is quietly trying to tell you after the age of 70? Every passing year feels more meaningful and sometimes the most important signals don't come from a doctor's report. But from the way you feel, move and live each day, some seniors continue to thrive. Clear-headed, full of purpose and energised by daily life, others begin to slow down, not just physically, but in spirit and strength. What causes that split? The answer lies in a few key signs, gentle indicators that often go unnoticed until they're too obvious to ignore. In this video, you'll discover seven powerful signs that may reveal how long you could live after turning 70. These aren't just guesses. They're rooted in patterns. Doctors and researchers have observed in people who live longer, fuller lives. By the time we reach the final sign, you'll know exactly where to look in your own routine and what choices can help you extend both your years and your vitality stick with us until the end because something small in your life today could quietly shape your future. Let's begin. Sign one, your pace when walking. It might seem like a minor detail, but the speed at which you walk can quietly reflect how healthy and how long you may live. Researchers have found that older adults who maintain a steady energetic pace are far more likely to enjoy longer, healthier lives than those who gradually slow down. That's because walking isn't just about legs. It's a signal of how well your body is working overall. Muscles, circulation, brain function. They all play a role in how you move. Let's consider two people, Ron and Leonard, both 77. Ron still walks to the market every morning, crosses streets without hesitation and climbs stairs with ease. Leonard, once active, now struggles to keep up pauses often and avoids uneven ground. Ron's movement reflects good health. Leonard's decline in pace could point to weakening muscles, reduced coordination or early signs of ageing-related conditions. It's not just about being slower. It's about what that slow pace is telling you. If your stride has shortened, if walking tires you more than it used to. Your body may be calling for help, but there's hope walking more. Even short distances can help rebuild strength. Light exercises for the legs. Gentle stretching and daily motion can bring energy back over time. So pay attention to how you walk because the way you move through life today might just hint at how long you'll keep going tomorrow. If you're still here, and finding this valuable. Please comment below to let me know you are still watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Your support helps us create great content to inform and inspire. Now, let's continue sign two, the power in your hands. It may seem like a small thing, but how firmly you can hold on to something reveals far more about your overall health than most people realize. As we age, grip strength becomes a window into the rest of the body. It reflects your muscle tone, blood flow, and even your nervous system. Imagine two men, Samuel and Gerald, both 78. Samuel still carries groceries with ease, twists open lids without strain, and enjoys light strength training. Gerald, however, has noticed. He struggles to twist a door or knob, and his hands feel weaker than they once did. What Gerald didn't expect was that these little changes might be signs of deeper muscle loss which increases the risk of falls injury and dependence on others. The hands don't work in isolation when your grip begins to weaken. Chances are your core and legs aren't far behind but just like strength fades it can also return. Try using a stress ball carry small weights or do simple squeezing exercises a few minutes each day. Take a moment and notice, does your handshake feel softer than it used to do? Jars or bags feel heavier than they should, if so don't brush it off, because your ability to hold on today may quietly shape how well you can hold on to your independence in the future. Sign three, your ability to stay steady balance is something we often take for granted until it starts to fade, but your ability to stand still, especially on one leg, can quietly predict your future. Health researchers have discovered that older adults who can balance for 10 seconds or more tend to live longer with fewer injuries and stronger mental clarity. Let's think about two women. 
Patricia and Lillian. Patricia walks daily, stretches often and practices light movements to stay limber. She can stand on one foot for more than 10 seconds without needing support. Lillian, however, avoids physical activity when she lifts one foot. She loses control quickly and grabs a chair for balance. She didn't see this as a problem, just part of getting older, but it was her body warning her about deeper imbalances in strength coordination and neurological function. Good balance isn't just about legs. It requires fast reflexes, strong muscles and a sharp brain. Here's the good news. Balance is trainable start by practicing simple moves, stand on one leg while brushing your teeth, or walk heel to toe in a straight line. Try this test. Now, lift one foot and count to 10. Can you stay upright if not? That's okay, but don't ignore it because the more you work on staying steady now, the better your chances of staying safe, strong and independent as the years go by. Sign four. Your sleep at night sleep isn't just about rest. It's the time when your body does its deepest work. It repairs tissue, boosts immunity, and clears waste from the brain. Once you're in your 70s, the way you sleep can quietly reveal a lot about your long-term health. Scientists have found that seniors who get consistent, high-quality rest tend to live longer and have sharper minds. Let's look at two men, Harvey and Leonard. Both 73, Harvey sticks to a routine, goes to bed at the same hour and wakes up feeling refreshed. Leonard, on the other hand, struggles to fall asleep, wakes up multiple times a night and often feels groggy during the day. Harvey's regular rest keeps his thinking clear and his immune system resilient. Leonard's restless nights over time take a toll on his mood memory and energy. If your sleep feels broken, don't brush it aside. It could be a sign of stress, lack of sunlight during the day or deeper health issues like sleep apnea. The encouraging part, you can change it. Try dimming the lights before bed, avoiding screens late at night, and taking a morning walk to reset your internal clock. Your sleep isn't just about how many hours you spend in bed. It's about how well your body uses those hours to keep you strong, alert, and ready for the day ahead. Sign 5. Your relationship with food as we age. Appetite often changes, but when you start to lose interest in eating, it could be more than just a passing shift. It might be your body's way of signalling that something deeper is going on. Eating well after 70 is one of the most important things you can do to maintain strength, protect your immune system and fuel your energy throughout the day. Picture 2. Women, Shirley and Dolores, both 74. Shirley still looks forward to meals, cooks fresh food at home and maintains a steady weight. Dolores, however, has been skipping meals without noticing leans on packaged snacks and feels full after just a few bites. In the past year, she's dropped weight and lost interest in food prep. What she doesn't realise is that a fading appetite can lead to muscle loss, lower energy and a drop in immune function. Sometimes it's caused by medications, digestive problems or emotional changes. Sometimes it's an early clue that cognitive decline may be beginning. The body needs fuel, real nutrient-rich food to repair itself and stay strong when we stop feeding it. What it needs, the decline can come faster than expected. So if your appetite has changed or meals don't seem appealing anymore, don't ignore it. Add protein fiber and good fats to your meals. Drink water regularly and talk to a healthcare provider if food no longer excites you because how you nourish yourself now will determine how well you feel in the years to come. If you're still here and finding this valuable comment number five below, to let me know you are still watching if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Your support helps us create great content to inform and inspire. Now, let's continue. Sign six. How you respond to pressure stress isn't just a mental state. It's a full body experience that can quietly wear you down over time. If it's not kept in check after 70, the way you deal with stress can be a stronger predictor of your health.
than many realize people who remain calm under pressure often live longer, experience fewer illnesses, and stay mentally sharper than those who feel constantly overwhelmed. Let's look at two men, Albert and Curtis both. 76. Albert faces challenges like anyone family tensions, financial concerns, unexpected health issues, but he takes time to breathe, reflect and reset Curtis. However, holds on tightly to every little frustration he replays, past events in his mind, fears the future, and feels weighed down by the smallest disruptions over time. Curtis's tension leads to sleepless nights, low energy, and rising blood pressure. Albert, meanwhile, preserves his inner balance and stays connected to his health and peace of mind. Chronic stress causes inflammation, which plays a role in many age-related conditions, from memory loss to heart problems. That's why it's vital to ask yourself, are you holding on to things you can't control? Do you give yourself space to decompress? Even small changes can help try quiet time in nature. Gentle movement, deep breathing, or a good conversation with someone you trust. Managing stress isn't about pretending things are perfect. It's about giving your body and mind the chance to recover. Reset and stay strong for the journey ahead. Sign 7. The people around you. After 71 of the most powerful influences on your health and longevity isn't found in medicine. It's found in your relationships. Seniors who maintain strong social ties tend to live longer, feel happier and stay sharper. Mentally. Let's consider two women, Donna and Mabel. Both 76. Donna makes it a point to chat with her neighbours, calls her sister every Sunday and meets with a walking group twice a week. Mabel, on the other hand, spends much of her time alone. She's drifted away from friends, rarely picks up the phone and often goes days without real conversation. Though she doesn't say it aloud, the quiet is starting to feel heavy. Her mood has dipped and her energy isn't what it once was. Loneliness affects more than the heart it raises. Inflammation disrupts sleep and can accelerate decline in both body and mind. But this is something you can change. You don't need a big social circle. You just need meaningful contact call. An old friend, join a local class or community group. Even small daily connections like saying hello to someone at the store can help you feel seen valued and alive. Your health isn't just shaped by what you eat or how you move. It's deeply influenced by who you connect with because the more love, laughter and conversation you invite into your life today, the longer and brighter the road ahead may become. Now that you've seen these seven signs, pause for a moment. Think about how you're living today. Are you feeling steady, sharp and full of life? Or are there areas where you've started to feel a shift? The good news is most of the things we've talked about, your speed, your grip, your sleep, your balance, your meals, your stress and your social life can all be improved. Starting now, nothing is set in stone and it's often the small habits that create the biggest changes over time. So if something in this video stood out to you, don't wait, start with one simple shift, go for a walk, add a healthy meal, Call someone you've been missing practice being, still get to bed a little earlier tonight. You don't need to change everything, you just need to begin. We'd love to hear your thoughts share in the comments below. Which sign meant the most to you and what you plan to do with it? And if you found this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support allows us to keep sharing messages that uplift inform and remind us all that the best years can still be ahead. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.